I welcome all of you on Europedia education platform uh, where you are getting the recent updates related to various admissions in different universities. You know, uh, presently postgate counseling is going on and uh, you are applying in different universities in India through gate uh, score. Now, uh, let me tell you, many of you are asking about the option uh, for application in foreign universities, especially Singapore and German through gate score and uh, from where this uh, basically entire thing is coming, let me tell you, there are uh, some universities in Singapore and Germany uh, which have mentioned on their website that they will take through uh, gate score, you know, gate uh, the exam in India. Uh, these universities are Nanyang Technical University, National University Singapore. TU Munich and RWTH that is the School of Applied Sciences you know that is in German. So if you go to the website of these universities you will find they have mentioned that they take through gate also and in fact we have uploaded a video last year that these universities take through gate. But for the last one year when we tried to explore further mailed them and asked them are they considering gate. So, you know, these universities say that for Indian students, they want English as a language. They want to check your proficiency in English. And for that, they want scores like GRE or TOEFL, IELTS, IELTS school they want, want so that they should check whether uh, the student has English proficiency or not. Now, as you know that if we want to get admission abroad, then GRE is the exam. There is no technical uh, test for that. Only GRE score is required. GRE or TOEFL score is required. So the moment they ask for GRE TOEFL, then the relevance of GATE is lost. Because uh, in NUS or an NTU or US universities or Germany, uh, some universities, even only on the basis of GRE also they take admission. So nutshell me kya hua ki the logic of ha having accepting GATE score is not there. So say ho kya ki purely on the basis of gate admissions ho nahi rahi hai. So what is the situation as of now? Situation as of now is that if you approach the admission cell of NUS and NTU and ask them that I have got very good gate score and give me admission in MS program, you will not get the admission. They will ask you for GRE or something, which otherwise if you have GRE score, you can apply uh, in these universities. So nutshell me ki if you have gate score, then do not think of applying on the basis of gate only in any universities abroad because admission pichle saal mein meri knowledge mein nahi hai. I may be wrong but meri knowledge mein nahi hai. We try to explore, we send the mails also to these universities, we try to call also the executives admission cells there. So there is a confusion and there is no clear clarity on that. And I have not come across any student. If or seeing my video, some, some student come forward, can I have taken admission uh, on the basis of gate, I'll be very happy to know and record his experience. But as of now, I do not have that. So we have do not think of doing, uh, uh, basically using gate score for admission abroad. That is number one. So if you want to go abroad, think of GRE, think of IELTS, think of uh, uh, this uh, TOEFL exams and uh, admission season now will start in uh, September, October. I mean, like uh, May, June mein admission hota hai, April, May, June mein India mein. Vaisi September, October, November mein admission hona start ho jata hai for January season in foreign universities. And very soon, within a week or so, I will start guiding you for that also. Ki agar aapko September, October, November target karna hai admission season of foreign universities, how you can approach. And cost of uh, pursuing masters from foreign universities vary from somewhere 15 lakh, 12, 15 lakh to 25 lakh. So if you are ready to spare that money, which many students said, sir, we are going to spend that in bids planning also and in IIIT Hyderabad also. So why not spend that money in Germany and have foreign uh, exposure also? So that is okay. If you can spend, if you spending means if you can invest that money and ROI is good, return on investment is good, you should explore that, that particular option also. So very soon on your PD, I'm going to guide you for those universities also and how to prepare holistically so that you can target September, October uh, season forward. So that you do not as of now think of going with the, uh, <clears throat> let me make it little, visible to you. Okay, now you can see this, I think these universities. So uh, let me uh, then guide you for those universities through GRE score only. So as of now, through gate, you don't target through gate foreign universities. Think of foreign university, then only uh, think of GRE score, not gate score. And use your gate score. Another uh, uh, better option is use your gate score, get into masters, MTech and MS in India, and then go for PhD abroad. 
go for phd abroad with good scholarship and that way you can save your 15 lakh to 25 lakh that is how it is but this is entirely up to you you want to invest 15 20 lakh now get into ms abroad and get into job soon or you want to do ms from india not spend 15 to 20 lakh and uh, get into phd with scholarship on the investment of 2 3 lakh only that is entirely up to you here on your pdi my duty my responsibility is to tell you the opportunities and options you can choose any of the option which you find suitable so let me summarize now Singapore, Germany, these countries, the universities, NUS, NTU, TUM, RWTH, and some more universities, which claim to uh, take uh, GATE as one of the criteria for admission, actually is not being taken as of now. So use GATE score for admission in Indian universities, IIT, IIITs, uh, ISCs, NITs, and uh, for foreign admission, GRE and this score we will be using. I hope this is clear to you. Any query if you have, you can. Uh, ask that in the comment section you can shoot that query to me thank you